Right guys, so it is Thursday. Alright, so Thursday we've got a two-piece special for you. To warm up all of that, we're going to start off with the following. So we're going to go for two rounds, 20 seconds of work, 10 seconds rest. First movement, push up to down dog. So just get your chest to the ground, and then transition into that down dog. Remember, you can do this on your knees as well. Work there for 20 seconds. Then I want you to grab something light that you can hold in one hand. We're going to press to the top, keeping the ribcage down, making sure that we're working smoothly through, standing at the top. Right, for 20 seconds, just on your one arm, then get onto your back, we're going to do some hollow rocks. Okay, so working up and down here. Alternatively, if you feel a little bit of pain in your lower back, I want you to bend the knees, bring the arms to the side. That should help us in keeping our back nice and flat. Then we're going to grab the art object once more, do some presses on the left side, and the last movement is going to be some rows. So get into this bent over position. When you're down here, push your shoulder blades as far apart as you can. And then as you come up, you're squeezing them together as tightly as you can. So we're going through that whole range of motion, just warming up for the rows that we have later on. Two rounds of that, guys, and it'll be our warm up. Okay, guys, so our strength. You're going to do three sets of the following movements for me. We're going to start off with 12 per side single arm uh, floor press. And then from there we'll go for 12 per side single arm rows, the bent over rows. And then we'll go for 15 prone hip extensions. I'm just going to go through all of that with you. Okay, guys. So the floor presses, going to start on the ground. I want you to grab your weight, whatever it is, odd object. Maybe you've got a dumbbell. Okay, something that is nice and challenging in weight. And then from here, from this position on the ground, keeping my back nice and flat, right, making sure I'm actively working to brace the core. I'm gonna press up. When you get to the top, give it an extra squeeze, all right? So give it more of a squeeze than you think you need. Do 12 reps on the one side, and then we'll do 12 reps on the other. Once you're done with that, we're gonna go over to the rows. So the rows, whether you're using a dumbbell, kettlebell, or an odd object, I want you to create a nice wide base for yourself. I'm gonna get my elbow onto my knee, and then from here, I'm just pulling, working my elbow as high as I can, and then working down again. All right, so squeeze the shoulder blades first, keep the elbow nice and close, don't let it flare out. We're gonna be working here for 12 reps, and then you'll change over, do 12 reps on the other side. Okay, then the last movement that we have for our strength piece is gonna be prone hip extensions. So here guys, it doesn't have to be a massive movement. We're just trying to work the posterior chain. So work the glutes, hammies, the back as much as we can. You'll see I'm squeezing everything that I can just to get into that, let's call it a Superman position and then back down. All right, so we're going for 15 of these. Okay, so on the way up, we're quite explosive. On our way down, I want you to control a little bit, so not just to fall down to the ground. All right, 15 reps of that, three rounds, guys, and then we'll get into the workout. So time for our workout, mutually exclusive. Um, there's a bit of a twist to this workout. So you'll see we start with push presses, and then we go to mountain climbers, then we do some more push presses, and then end up with some V-ups. So essentially, we got three movements. I'm going to run through those movements first and then we'll get into the rhythm of the workout. So our push press, guys, whatever you're using, whether it is dumbbell, kettlebell, odd object, we're getting it onto the shoulder, and then we're creating a nice dip and drive and pressing that uh, kettlebell or dumbbell or odd object all the way to the top. All right, so nice and braced in the core, dip, drive, All right, and if you have something that you must hold in two hands that you can't hold in one hand, it's gonna be the same movement, same dip, same drive, except we've got that guy in two hands. All right, that's the push press. And we're gonna go for mountain climbers. All right, we're gonna go for the ones where we get our knees up towards the chest, so not feet landing next to us. We're gonna go 
knees towards the chest so we'll be here push up position i'm gonna bring my knee up as high as i can without my toe touching the ground right so we have to work extra hard there to pull in that leg with the core okay second movement third one we're gonna do some v-ups so onto our back hollow body position and i'm just meeting my feet and hands in the middle okay modification here just tucking the knees in and aiming for the legs right so those are our three movements guys the rhythm of the workout you're going to start 21 59 push presses right you'll be alternating that with 30 reps of mountain climbers so pick an arm this is the only arm that you're going to use for this portion of the workout so let's say i start on my right i'll do 21 push presses and then i'll do 30 mountain climbers same arm 15 push presses 30 mountain climbers still on the same arm nine push presses and then 30 mountain climbers then immediately start the next round which is going to be nine push presses but on the other arm now so the right side is done now we're moving to the other side so nine push presses into 20 v-ups 15 push presses into 20 v-ups and then 21 push presses and then you'll finish off with 20 v-ups all right so that second half of the workout is going to get a lot more challenging guys i would suggest starting with your weaker arm first there's always that one arm that's a little bit weaker than the other let's get that one out the way especially for when we are a little bit more tired later on and our shoulders have done a little bit more work so save your stronger arm for the end try keep your focus throughout right break this up wherever you need to right and depending on how you feel today that's kind of gonna determine how we approach today so if you're feeling really good try and go unbroken on everything right if not break up where you feel you need to okay guys that is thursday done we'll see you tomorrow